in this one out. The current world champion, current European vault champion. Highest qualifier here. See the chalk on the shins. Ready for those legs to be grabbed and pulled round. Thomas Boy with his first vault. Immensely powerful approach. Half turn coming up and he's oh! done it again. He absolutely... He's got glue on his feet every time. And that is going to take an awful lot of beating. I've seen him do that vault a dozen times in the last month and he stuck it every time. Absolutely massive. Another chance to see it here. And I thought he'd almost left the half turn too late, but he hadn't. He timed it perfectly and brought his feet either side of the white line. The great thing about this landing is you see it. Look, you can see him spotting the floor. As long as you've got the height, you can time it perfectly. 16.666, a difficulty of seven. Wow. Huge score for the current world champion. So, second vault. He's going for the same difficulty. He could play it safe, obviously, having nailed that. He's got to hold on to this world championship title that he won last year. But he's going all out. He's not holding back. It's not in his psyche to hold back, and this is a hard one to spot. Double pike. Oh, and it was tough to spot. A few extra paces at the end. Got around nice and easy, but how do you make the balance between squeezing in for double pike and making the landing? Tough decision. And he almost put in too much rotation there. He's obviously training an extra somersault. And he did fabulously well to not sit that out. You see, he pulls it in and he lands with his hips behind his feet. Really had to react quickly to take those steps back. They will be costly, but not as costly as the one hole mark he would have lost had he sat down. You can see his chest is down. One, two, three, four, mm, about point 0.8. Easily point 0.8, yeah. But didn't he wrestle against it? The highest qualifier scores 16.187 with the two volts. Very good judging. Very good judging indeed. 